And we're back, and uh, that was Albert and Ramon over there on there talking. Did you see him over there talking? Yeah, someone talking over there. Maybe. All right, let me get this other stain so I can do this again. All right, let's see. Uh, Halloween, my favorite movie. Halloween's coming out, The Curse of Michael Myers on September 29th. Hey, you know, you had that tape. Don't think you? I'm going to forget about you stealing my tape, too. <laughs> I know you stole it, man. You're lucky you're my friend now. You're lucky you're my friend now. Oh, look at that. You should be in big trouble. Gee, hey, I think they hit you a little too hard. I didn't, that was sound cool, <laughs> man. And, uh, but his is bad. I hardly get that part where he goes, you don't know what death is. And then it starts. Uh, I don't know. That didn't have it on there. I didn't hear, I, I didn't hear it. Anyway, uh, that's coming out September 29th. Uh, the Halloween special. Horror Kung Fu Theater Halloween special. We're going to have a lot of giveaways and... We're going to have an Elvira lookalike contest. And you're going to give away all that stale candy you got in the green room over there? Yeah. They got Halloween. It's still they good. got candy from three Halloweens ago. But there was mice. Still I, sitting in there. I seen there was mice in there eating it. It's still good. They didn't fall or die or nothing. We'll call in and we'll give you a bag. Elvira lookalike contest. And Ramon and Albert's going to be the judge of it. What? The Elvira look. He's like, whoa. The, the blind leading the blind. One's, one's nearsighted and one got a bad eye. I oh. look at all out that way and everything. Yeah, that's why they have to get up close and look kind of like that, huh? That's why the camera all messed up and you're getting shots of the ear and everything. <laughs> you saw, saw the, the light on the top. <laughs> and uh, that's the Halloween contest, and we're going to give out some boxing gloves, too, but you got to write in for that. And uh, that's 745 East Valley Boulevard, Suite 193. And the, and the boxing gloves are plastic. You Set. put a little armor all on them. <laughs> Sad Shine day, bro. California, not even no armor off. <laughs> 91776. And that's the address you can write if you want some boxing gloves, but you gotta win them. And Not Scary Farm, Halloween Haunt. Starts October 6th, 7th. And Bob Oshner, head of promotions over there. We got some Halloween footage from that. Uh, Gracie Jiu Jitsu videos. You can get the address at the end of the show if you get to order some of them. Uh, the Bicycle Man. What do you see this guy later in the show? He's I got him on tape. And. Uh, He's looking for some, he's rolled from Brazil everywhere, he rides a big old bike, and uh, I guess you, if you want to contact him, you call Tony's Automatic Transmission Center, that's the number he gave. And automatic Transmission Tony's Center? Tony's Automatic for Transmission a, Center. For a bike? 4327 East Cesar Chavez Avenue, It's the number he gave me, I don't know. Uh, Double Trouble, Women Wrestling Videos, oh, you like them, huh? Uh, get right to the address. Yeah, I, like to, I like to put those videos on when I can't sleep and I need something to put me to sleep. Oh, that's when I like those videos. That's not very nice. <laughs> Halloween store. Any Halloween store that's opening up and they want us to go there and videotape some stuff or, you know, helping them out their promotions or whatever, just give us a call here at the studio and uh, I'll be glad to go over there and tape some stuff because they got some scary stuff over there. That's good. And you and you're no doubt you'll be going over there looking for some free stuff. That's, hey. a, that's the only reason he's going over there. Hey. So if you call, be ready to get all your last year stuff out to give to hey. him so you can take it. You're not it supposed home. to tell him that. They're not supposed to, that's supposed to come later. I wasn't supposed, was supposed to mention <laughs> that. Now they know already. <laughs> So, uh, you want got anything else to say, Dan, about upcoming matches or anything you want to talk about? No, like I said before, I'm going to take a little time off. I'm going to do the show on the 13th, Knott's Berry Farm. Well, it's not Knott's Berry Farm. It's next it's, to Knott's It's Berry next Farm. to Knott's Berry Farm. But if you go, you'll see the ring and you'll make it there. <laughs> so we'll plug that later. You guys will make it. I heard you got a hard match over there, don't you? Yeah, I'm going to finally, the stumper finally he's done all his little things and everything. He's finally coming back and he knew sooner or later. He was going to have to face me, and now the time's coming, man. The time's coming. Um, that's why we're taking the time off. We're going to train. We're going to head back, get ready. I'm going to take it to him, man. It's going to be all over. I'm glad it's you, not me, because uh, he's kind of big. Well, everybody knows I'm, there, there's not one man on this earth that I fear, and that's what it's all about. It's big time, and that's what I'm going for. Anybody don't know who Stopper is, he was in the movie The Mask. Uh, he's a big, bald guy with a... Uh, he has the hair like a ponytail Yeah, and back. he's also been ducking me for about three years now. Yeah, well, it's probably because he's been doing movies, but uh, <laughs> that's what he's telling me. But well, he, good, he needs to keep after he's finished. It's a good thing he has that job because after he wrestles me, he's going to need that job oh. because he ain't going to be wrestling no more. And you know what I mean? You know what I mean? At Bassett Park, me and you were supposed to get it on over at Bassett Park, and you didn't wrestle me, and you wrestled the Armored Saint because you knew that was going to be an easy match. <laughs> That's why you wrestled him. And Armour Saint, don't uh, think I forgot about you, man. Don't think I forgot about that time me and you wrestled at, what's that part? Obergon Park, 
when I had the belt and the Bronx Bomber took that belt from me and you came out with your big mouth and came out and called me Dan Flaviano. I remember that. Don't think I forgot. I know it was a while back, but I'm not. I'm telling you, man. One of these days, you're going to have to face me in the ring. I made the mistake of partnering up with you over at All Nation Center, and I, you did exactly what I knew you were going to do. Backfired. You backstabbed us, and that's a good thing that this man was with me because what happened? He came out, he hit you twice, and you went down like a ton of bricks. You can't take a punch, you can't wrestle, and you can't do nothing. I give you credit because it took two punches to knock you down. I thought maybe just a half of one. I took two down. punches because he weighs 600 pounds to get his fat self off his he feet. He almost fell on me when he went down and fell. I almost broke my leg after him falling on me like a big redwood tree. So or we're gonna we're gonna have some wrestlers here from all nations. They're gonna come out. They're gonna tell you guys about a big show they're gonna have, and I want as many people as possible to see all these shows at All Nation. It's good Mexican wrestling. You come out, you see it, you see the Mexican style, you watch how they work, because you'll see when we come back, the two different styles are gonna clash and it's gonna be all out war, big time. And that big chubby lady out there, if I see you over there selling, she's over there selling tamales, trying to get money and I stuff. I saw her, she had a cart with the lote and everything out there. Hey, and that's, well. you know. All right, let's go to the show tape. Hi. Come on, what are you guys, new? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs>